A lot of exciting things have been announced during the 1.3 Chinese livestream for Genshin Impact, and these are the top 5 new features coming with the update. The biggest and most exciting new feature comes in the form of a Lantern Festival that's going to be an event like no other. And this special event is going to take place inside Leo S City, where it's going to completely transform the whole environment with hundreds of beautiful lanterns lit up and floating in the sky. And in order to celebrate this once in a year occasion, there's going to be two parts of the event. The first one was briefly shown to be some kind of a questing system that allows you to help out the city residents prepare for the festival by completing various quests for them, and from the looks of it, there's going to be a lot of fun commissions that will reveal bit by bit more about this event the city celebrates. Now the next part of the event is actually something that's very unique and at the same time quite bizarre, and it's going to be a full-fledged tower defense minigame where you will be able to place your very own towers that shoot the incoming waves of enemies. And there's not a lot of things revealed yet, but it seems to be there will be a shop where you can redeem a lot of awesome rewards by completing the tower defense stages and collecting some sort of special currency. It also seems there's going to be a pretty big achievement system that rewards you with more of the same currency, which you can use to redeem the items from the event shop. And what's even cooler, the more times you play this minigame, the harder versions you will be able to unlock, and best of all, you can also upgrade the towers you have or even purchase new and exciting ones, so there's surely going to be a lot of strategizing involved, and we'll be getting ready to give you the latest guides and tips on how to beat these tower defense stages. Finally, you'll also be able to use a special camera and take pictures of various locations and monsters, which will give you some sort of colored themes that can be reclaimed for various awards. So in short, this massive festival will have a lot of new quests that you will fulfill for the residents who are preparing to celebrate this event, and then there's going to be a special tower defense mode that you can enter and use your very own towers to take care of your enemies. And completing this minigame will award you with special currency where you can redeem awesome things including Crown of Insight, which is always a welcome addition. If you thought fighting those little Geo Bishops was annoying already, then wait till you meet the granddaddy of them all, the giant Geo Bishop. Obviously, we will need to learn this new foe's attack patterns, and from the footage that we've seen, he actually looks pretty challenging and fun to fight, so here's hoping he won't get crushed by maxed out characters. Also, if you want to get the latest news about 1.3 update, make sure to follow us on Twitter, link in the description. Even if there's going to be one big massive event that celebrates the Lantern Festival, you couldn't have a major update without its fair share of smaller events thrown into the mix. And judging from this screen we have been shown during the livestream, we can expect to get free fates to wish for new stuff, and while it's not clear what some of these other events will entail, at least we know there's always going to be rewards involved. It also seems to be we're going to have our first event centered around expeditions, and you will need to allocate your characters and send them off on various missions to complete their expeditions, which hopefully won't make the character become unavailable to use while they're off doing their bidding for the event. Probably the most exciting news of the Chinese livestream finally confirmed that Xiao will be coming in 1.3 update and he looks absolutely insane. It also seems to be that developers haven't changed him mechanically since we last saw him from the closed beta tests and he's still going to deliver his main source of damage from plunging attacks. Looking at his preview, he still has the elemental skill where he will dash forward and damage enemies in the path, which also serves as means of traversal, much like you would use Kaching's teleportation kunai or Albedo's solar isotoma flower to elevate yourself. But since these livestreams so far never disclosed the actual damage multipliers of character talents, it's still far too early to tell how strong will his elemental skill and burst will be, so it's always best to wait until the character first shows up in the game. Still, the way he puts on his mask and gains the insane mobility to jump high will definitely change the gameplay style for those who obtain him, and it also seems to be when his burst is active, his damage transforms into Animo, which looks to be identical to how Diluc gains pyro damage infusion after his burst. And even if it's too early to tell, the way his talents have been previewed clearly follows a pattern of a main damage dealer, since he needs to remain active on the battlefield to use his jump attacks, and it wouldn't make much sense to give this sort of design for someone who would strictly be a support character, so we can probably expect Xiao to be the very first main damage dealer for Animo Element, and of course, for those who decide, also serve as a support damage dealer instead. Either way, he's looking to be super exciting, and it makes you wonder if he's going to be the next character that's going to bring the record-breaking revenue in Genshin Impact. And let's not forget about We'll also be getting Xiao's own personal quest, which is going to require players to have reached Adventure Rank 23, and most importantly, Xiao and his personal quest will become available when the update goes live, which is going to be the 3rd of February. But the most shocking thing about this update is going to be the next character, and it's definitely not the girl everyone was hyping about. Instead, it will be the Lightning Fast Kaching, who can actually be summoned from the standard Wish Banner, but in this case, she will be getting her very own special event Wishing Banner that will go live on 17th of February. So to 
appears to be MiHoYo is slowing down with new characters, and from 1.2 we didn't get new 4 stars, and this time we're only getting a single new 5 star character. You can't have a new update without some great quality of life features, and the first one we already saw from Twitter announcement is going to be simple yet highly appreciated change to let you long press on the materials like ores when leveling up your weapon, so no more endless clicking and tapping. And the first major upgrade will be the addition of a full encyclopedia of the creatures that inhabit the world of Genshin Impact, and while we haven't seen during the livestream if we can also learn about the stats of the monsters, at least we can keep track of all the cats we have met during our journeys. Now after getting the ability to private message your friends during the 1.2 update, the next addition comes in the form of bragging. You can now display your favorite characters and their constellations, as well as what it appears to be their artifacts. Maybe this will inspire you to one-up your friends and showcase your very own best HP artifact. Then there's going to be some sort of a gadget that allows you to exchange your less valuable materials for things like talent books, which already sounds pretty insane, so we'll need to confirm this as we get more details about this particular gadget. But one awesome change that's definitely going to make a lot of players excited it, especially those who are free to play, and it's going to be some sort of special dust that will allow you to change the element of the ascension material, essentially allowing you to convert materials that you won't be using in the future, and this is possibly going to give a better acceleration to level up your characters. It's still not clear how much transmuting we'll be able to do, and if it's going to come in very limited quantities, but at least some of us will be able to convert our ascension materials for characters like Xiao. So as you can see, there's a good number of quality of life features that are incoming, and we can't wait for this new update to find finally go live. But to summarize, the biggest focal point of the 1.3 update is going to be the Lantern Festival, which is going to be split up in two parts, one in which you will fulfill the requests and uncover more tales about the festival by listening to the city residents, and the other, more unique chunk of gameplay will feature a mini game of tower defense where you will obtain event currency by completing stages and their challenges, and you will also be able to even permanently upgrade the towers themselves. Next, we'll also get to fight a giant Geo Bishop boss enemy, which is yet unknown what rewards exactly will we get from defeating it, and you can't have a major update without small events peppered around it, so we'll be busy not just celebrating the Lantern Festival, but also completing some other unique events as well. Finally, the long-awaited Xiao will be gracing us with his arrival, and he doesn't seem to have changed mechanically since we last saw him from the early beta footage, so we can expect him to at least serve the role of the first serious main damage dealer for the animal element. It's not too long before putting on a mask and stomping on your enemies with lunge attacks is going to be a regular part of our routine once he goes live on the servers. But it also appears to be we'll have our first character wish event that's not a new one, and it's going to be Kaching, which is going to be live on 17th of February. All in all, this is looking to be one very exciting update, and you can bet your top more we're going to cover all of it. Enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe to us by hitting the bell notification on and gently pressing the like button. You can also get the fastest up-to-date news regarding 1.3 by following us on Twitter. Thank you for watching us.